my name is Kathy Huertas. I'm a freelance illustrator and I do a lot of editorial illustration. And for editorial, sometimes the deadlines are a little bit tight. So today I wanted to show you some of my favorite uh, shortcuts for Adobe Fresco. So the first thing that is really cool is that you can actually pair this with a Bluetooth keyboard and use the same commands that you no would normally use uh, as in Photoshop. So you can do Command C for delete, uh, P for pixel brush. And if you're not sure about what, um, which one uh, is the one you need, you can go to the upper question mark, go to keyword shortcuts, and here you're gonna see some of those. However, you don't need a Bluetooth keyboard to enjoy the shortcuts. So I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna show you some of my other favorite ones. So the first one that you might probably know is that, let's say you make a mistake and you don't like that, you can just go undo, undo by tapping with two fingers. If you actually realize that that was a happy accident and you want to keep that, you can do a uh, tap with three fingers and it's going to come back. In this case, we definitely don't want that line. So I'm just going to go back. So that's the first one. Um, the second one is the color picker. And this is a huge one. I usually like to work with limited color palettes. And so I'm always kind of like picking colors from my illustration and going back to the color picker takes a bit of time. So here, if you're drawing, you can just like long press and move it around. And that's going to pick the color that you're with. So let's say I want to pick this um, blue here from this ear. It's already in my picker. I want to try the... Uh, brown one, I got it here. So I'm going to undo. Uh, you might see this little uh, touch bar. So if you do that, if you double tap this one and you press and hold, now your brush is not only picking the color, but it's actually picking the whole shape beneath. So I kind of like this eye and I could probably make a brush out of it. Right now, if you look here, um, you're going to see that that didn't pick just my color, but the entire shape. So if I'm if I were to draw with that, I need to go to brush again. And if I were to draw with that, it's drawing with the entire dog. You might not see it um, because it's super tiny, but I'm gonna make my brush really big. My opacity, I'm gonna bring it up, my flow, and now you see I have a brush with the eye. And it, it's kind of weird, but it might be useful. It can work also as stamps. So now I have a bunch of those. I'm just gonna undo a lot. The one that I probably use a lot also is the erase um, shortcut. And um, a lot of my work is very textural. So I like, for example, using um, like a canvas brush. So let's say I'm drawing with it. Still have this color picked. I'm, I want a different color. Let's say I'm painting with this and I want to erase, but I don't want the eraser to be super harsh. So instead of going to my erase tool, what I can do is double, if I hold here and I erase, it's erasing with the same brush that I use to paint. Um, and if I double top, if I'm going to erase a longer section, then that becomes my eraser. So it's pretty handy if you're, let's say, painting with oils or watercolors and then you want to go back and erase with the same brush. Um, it's just like a time saver. And finally, this is not so much of a shortcut, but rather something I do to save time. Um, so in my fresco, I have a lot of brushes that I've downloaded, right? I have the ones that come with the app and I downloaded um, some library brushes. Uh, from Kyle Webster. So it's so many that I, I but I barely use kind of like four or five. So what you can do to save time is have all your brushes, maybe select your favorite one. I really like this canvas brush and I also like uh, an acrylic one. So let's say I really like this wet bristle one and I actually do. So I'm gonna set it as a favorite. And now when I go to favorites, 
I'm only going to have the ones that I really use. And I barely go outside of there. I only go out of there if I am looking for something specific or if I want to experiment. But let's say if I'm on a, dead, uh, on a tight deadline, I'm just going to go with the ones that I really like. I'm going to undo this again. But if you have any questions um, or wondering what other shortcuts that are, there are, you can press here and also see all the gestures. There's um, tons and it's really like about saving time and also working efficiently. So I hope you enjoyed this. These are my favorite shortcuts and yeah, give it a try. Bye.